What's up guys, my name is Max and today we're going to be installing this on the box truck. Um, this is an air horn system. Um, the stock horn on the box truck is, is real weak sauce and so we're going to be upgrading with uh, this today. A um, couple of notes on these systems before we get started. First of all, as far as I know in the states, these may not be legal everywhere. So if you care about things like that, make sure to check your local laws. Um, about whether or not this kind of stuff is legal. I don't actually know if it's legal or not in Texas, but I mostly don't care, and so we're gonna install it on anyway. Um, now this, I paid about 95 bucks for this kit. It's one of the cheaper kits on eBay. Basically you have four tone horns. Um, this is a 12 volt relay that this is what we're gonna wire to the horn button basically. And what this does is it opens air coming through here and blows it through the horns, makes noise. Um, you always want to get a battery and stuff like this that comes from China off of eBay. You always want to make sure you test it out before you um, go through all the hassle of installing. I tested it. The relay works. The motor works. It builds pressure. Um, can't really complain too much. This one has an external little electric motor right here. Um, drives a little air compressor. Um, and it's got this fitting right here. It's got a little pressure gauge um, and a pressure controlled solenoid. So once it hits like 100 PSI or something, it'll automatically turn the motor off. It comes with these quick connect fittings um, and this quick connect hose as well as a uh, fuse, um, some mounting brackets, little rubber isolator feet for this thing. Um, as you can see, these feet are not even bent straight, so we're going to have to fix that a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this for now, but these are uh, standard um, 3 8 or quarter inch uh, air fittings, whatever, quarter inch air fittings probably. So you uh, could, and I may end up uh, replacing this and running a hard line, or not a hard line, but like um, a proper Goodyear air hose once I kind of figure out the placement for everything um, because if this leaks, because it might leak. Um, other than that, this kit was, like I said, about 95 bucks shipped to my door. I got it off eBay. Um, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below for kind of a similar kit off of Amazon. Um, so let's figure out where we're going to store this stuff on the truck and get it installed. Now, here's the thing, and here's where we're going to mount it. And we're going to mount it under here for two reasons. Uh, the first is that I want it to be kind of protected from road debris. So you got the gas tank on this side and um, the battery box over here. So there's not really going to be a whole lot of dirt and stuff flying in here. The only downside of all of this is we have to mount this basically upside down. And what I think we're going to do is we're going to take the horns um, and we're going to mount them basically just right here pointing down. That way we're going to have to run a bit of a longer lead from uh, the horn fuse, uh, I'm sorry, from the horn button uh, down to there. But I would rather run a longer electrical connection uh, than run a longer air hose line. Um, because basically the longer your air hose is, the higher probability you have something happening to it. Um, the factory horns are actually mounted down inside of this cross member, which is why they sound like this. Shit's real weak. You can't even really hear them over the diesel. So, um, we're going to upgrade that situation. Okay, so what we got here is our train horns are mounted. Um... This is where the tank's going to mount. We're going to drill the first set of holes, basically loosely bolt that up, line up the other set of holes, drill them out, and so forth. Tank will be mounted here. We'll run the little air line, and then it's just a matter of feeding electricity. Um, the ground is going to end up just being grounded here uh, to one of these bolts, and then we're going to run 12-volt um, over here through a fuse straight to our truck battery. Um, and then uh, we got to figure out where to tap in the, um, the actual horn connection to run it to that solenoid. But it uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Just kind of a pain in the butt to work upside down. There we go. Everything is hooked up. Our, uh, everything is installed. Now all that's left is to uh, hook up everything. Should be good to go. Okay, so here's our final installation. Um, obviously I still need to clean up some of the wiring. Basically, ground goes <coughs> to here and is grounded up to the chassis. 12 volt runs back down into the battery right here. Um, it's fused right there. Uh, this thing goes up to, what does it indicate? Like 120 PSI, something like that, 100 PSI. 
Um, and so in the cab, I decided not to run it to the standard horn. I ran it to my last auxiliary switch over here because I tested it out and it is incredibly loud. And so I don't think it's something that needs to be there all the time, but I need to be able to hit it when I want to. Um, so that's why I put it on an auxiliary switch. So we still have the factory horns. Um, so now I'm just gonna button basically everything up um, and give you guys a test run. Okay, so I'm gonna get this thing going for a second and we're gonna test the old horn versus the new horn. Well, that's it guys. I hope you like this video. Uh, make sure to follow along at Instagram, Facebook, uh, Snapchat at Maxworks. Um, and if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more stuff coming. I know I've been uh, a little gun shy lately about posting videos, but uh, there's been some stuff going on in my personal life that I got to figure out. Um, but we're going to be making lots more videos here coming soon. So stay tuned. Thanks. Peace.